All right, here we go. Big Daddy Shin, day 800. All right, my world. Okay, so, uh, you know, once again, I'm stuck doing this because, yes, I have a bunch of boxes and stuff in my apartment and I can't really do much exercise in there. I mean, I could slip through the cracks and maybe do some push-ups or some squats here and there, but you know what? It sucks when it's dirty. I mean, I should be cleaning more, but no, I didn't. I did that whole Worldwide Wednesday thing. And, yeah, you know, with no advertising. I limited people there. But the people that are there, thank you very much. But I'll still do it next week. You know why? Because I'm not a quitter. Um, so, yeah, you know, just today, it's like a lot more things happen in the news. And, you know, you just take a beating. You know? What can you do? I mean, yes, I know some people say, hey, but you're a teacher, yeah, you get paid for this and stuff. Yeah, I get it, right? But the thing is, it's not like I'm going to sit here and, like, you know, be unaware of everything else that's going on, you know? Because I got to figure out ways to help my friends out. Because, you know, I could be one of the type of people that are just going to be, uh, you know, just, just focus on myself and go, oh, yeah, you know, me, 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 me. No, because it's like a lot of people, they have uh, things that they have to do. They have to pay their bills and they have to do whatever. So it turns out a lot of my friends are losing their jobs. And it totally sucks because it's like, you know, when you're a specialized field, you know, you can't just go up and pick up, find a, another place to go apply for a job because everything's closing. I'm sure like grocery stores... They have like a big waiting list of people that want to get more hours and stuff, right? So it's not like we can just go to Costco and just like apply for a job. Even though that'd be a great job to have, I think. You know, but you know, fast food places, you know, they, they're on minimal staff. So, like right here, this this place right here. Yeah, they have the drive-thru going, you know? A lot of places on their drive-thru. A lot of people are laying off people. But at this time, you know, everyone says like, oh, we all got to do our part. We all got to do our part. I get it. There's some people that are saying like, why should we do our part? We have to focus on us and our own families and stuff. Yeah, I get it. So that's why it's like, I'm still thinking about, you know what? I know the time may not be for me to go buy a house when people are like facing you know, joblessness and not worrying about, I worried about how their families are going to be fed and everything. Now, on mine, do I sacrifice my dream? Yeah, I do. Because thing is, it's, it's just a house. But thing is, if push comes to shove and, you know, like my family needs me or something like this, you know, until everything gets better, you know, yeah, yeah. I mean, thank God my family still have the jobs, right? But I'm just saying, it's like, this is just the, the beginning of this stuff, right? I mean, like I said, I think it should be over within a month. But the thing is, the damage that this is going to do, right, to the economy is going to be ridiculous. I mean, super ridiculous. You're going to have people, I don't even know how they're going to get food, right? So... You know, this one, it's not, I guess it is self-preservation, but it's just like how when I'm doing my whole credit stuff and I do something drastic while I'm looking for a home loan, they say if you're a risk. But, uh, you know, there are times where you do have to do something drastic and maybe I would become a risk. But I just... It comes down to what you really need, what you want. I talked about that before. Yeah, of course I want this house. It's like my dream house has everything I could possibly want, right? And, uh, but it's, it comes down to whether it's the right time or not. It just doesn't look like it's the right time. But Arlene, if you're watching this, I really want that house. I really do. So that's why I'm still in the mentality that I'm going to buy it 
But I want to see what happens with this whole, you know, job thing. Because I heard that there's a chance that school's going to be closed down for the rest of the year. So today it's March 18th. Yeah, it's March 18th. And, well, it's two more two more months for us because our, our school gets out like late May. But still, a lot of people, they're going to be out till June something. And then that means the jobs are going to be not, not there and stuff. But, you know, it's one of those, should we all, you know, we all need to get together and figure things out. But it's kind of hard because a lot of people are still focusing on their stuff, right? So there is a girl walking towards me this way. And then let's see if she like goes, yep, she turns. <laughs> I should start coughing. So, you know, these are the different things that, you know, we, we have to deal with. And, uh, you know, what? not much we could do. Not much we could do. But the thing that I can do is go exercise 800 days in a row. So that's what I committed to and doing stuff that way. Now, am I going to let the stuff take me down? No. I mean, yeah, it would help if, like, Disneyland was open or something. But it's like, I just got to be more productive, think about how I could change the world, you know, typical stuff that you do, right? So we'll see. So anyways, I'm going to start walking for a little bit and uh, see how it goes. Wow, that's crazy. I lost track of time and I just kept walking. I'm pretty far. So I'm going to turn, make a big U-turn around this block and see how it goes. But, uh, you know, I'm enjoying this whole walking thing. I encourage a lot of you guys to be able to do this. So, just so you know, I heard the rule if they do that whole martial law thing and everybody has to stay in their house. You can actually go, one of the conditions thing is you can go outside for a walk for exercise. Just as long as you stay the six feet away thing. I mean, you know, it's like the, you know, go to the doctors and go for family members and like help them out, whatever, right? But one of the things I read was exercise, like go take a walk, go take a jog or something. Am I going to take advantage of that? Yes. Am I going to pay $40 a month or 24-hour fitness for that? Yes. Well, I mean, the good thing is they suspended all of our licenses or our, our memberships until, until uh, uh, this thing dies over. But we'll see. So, anyways, and they should buy this lot. Okay, I chose this right side of the street because... The other side, there's like all sun. I mean, I want my vitamin D and my skin and stuff, but I don't know. Sun beating down on me. What? Am I exercising? No, I'm kidding. But yeah, so now I am going on the sidewalk, and now there is shade right here. Awesome. So I don't know. I got to go to here. I have no. I probably walked like 10 miles already. No, I'm kidding. I doubt if I went that far, but I went pretty far. All right, well, here's this side of that park that I showed you yesterday. I really walked far today. So, yes, there's a stadium bleachers that I might just go down and sit on. But no, there's no shade. So forget that. You know, this place would actually be pretty good to like run like some sprints or something. Right? Nobody's here except all these cars. Who knows what they're all here for, right? But, yeah, this doesn't look too bad. Something to consider, even though my back hurts because my belly's so big, I feel like I'm a pregnant man walking around. Totally sucks. But hey, at least I'm out, right? Awesome. Gosh, I remember when Popeyes had that really long line for the chicken sandwich. Yeah, look at it now. But uh, the one in Victorville is so much better than this one. 
but this one was horrible. So maybe that's why. All right, there you go. Day 800 in the books with a live guitar player playing right over there on the side of the street. So, you know, I'm, 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 I'm actually really liking this walk around the neighborhood. Go see the different streets. Some of you guys never seen anything of oh, this car's about to hit me. But, uh, so you guys never seen, like, you know, what's around your neighborhood, right? And so there's plenty more different streets that I can go and check around. But, uh, you know, go get some exercise. I don't know what's going to happen when it rains. Maybe I'll go outside of Costco, walk around there for like an hour, right? But, um, you know, what can we do, right? But at least I'm still getting it. So, anyways, Big Daddy Shin, day 800. If I can exercise 800 days in a row, you can exercise 800 days in a row. Because if I can do it, you can do it. Because I'm doing it. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood.